United States Corporation Company franchisees in the name of a loan. That it is actually a signature that is an entry into the World Trust for an heir that don't know their heirs that actually automatically transfer the house to you. It's already paid for. As soon as you sign. But they know you don't know that. Because they know you don't know the real politics. And they know that most of our people's status is dead. So it wouldn't matter even if they knew that. Because if their status is dead, their claim can still be bridged. Which is always bridged. Right now, All right. Now listen. This is very important. If you know anybody that has an argument in foreclosure. That's in the process of being foreclosed. That the promissory note and the mortgage must stay together, must stay married the entire process of that alleged loan. They must never be separated. If at any time they're separated, the claim of the debtee is dead. Do you all understand what I just said to you? It's not a conversation for today, because this affects our communities all the time. For this is what when they get when they when they sit there over your shoulder, tell them sign this, and they keep on turning the pages, mm -hmm. and you just waiting right. for the key. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, going short hands, signing them. <laughs> Promissory note and mortgage, you're signing. They must remain together for the entire duration to the termination of that transaction. If at any time they are separated. It is dead. And guess what? Usually within 72 hours, they've already gone to the DDTC in New York and cashed it in and have separated the promissory note and the mortgage and have sold the mortgage on the market, got compensated for the entire amount plus all costs, etc., and then written in your papers, which you didn't know that you've abandoned your estate since you didn't transfer the deed into an allodial account of your own trust. Hmm. 72 hours. Wow. Which most people don't even think to do because they don't even know what an allodial title is. Right. And then most of them don't even know that the only one that can have an allodial title is the heir to the land. You must be a national. Right. Anybody who's not a national can't make an allodial title claim anyway. Hmm. That's why they're listed as tenants. They don't read their papers. They're listed as tenants. Oh, I own this house. <laughs> it's been in my family for years. Oh. Mm. So you've been sharing problems for years, huh? Because mm. <laughs> that's all you've been doing. We're talking facts now, y'all. Get this through your head. So don't start talking money. If you're in foreclosure, start talking about the estate, the trust, and make whoever claims against you produce the original mortgage with the wet ink signature tied to its promissory note that they're trying to enforce in court right now under a writ of execution, which is what they do because they've separated them. And most people don't know to make that argument. They start talking about payments. You can't pay because it's already paid. And any transactions done with the Federal Reserve notes are called de donors. They, they read that on them instruments, they're called deeds, it's de donors. They take it as a gift and it still ain't paid. You just went deeper in debt. This is the whole trap. That's why people who know this, if they know this and they're in their proper person, they can have the, more, the persons who claim to be the owners, the, the mortgage company or the uh, uh, so-called bankers, that's why they get charged with fraud. But you gotta know how to do it. I'm telling you how. So don't get caught up in the little stuff. Keep this. Promissory note, mortgages must remain together. They separate them within uh, 72 hours because they know most people don't know to claim them and convert them into their estate and their trust. Right. Sell it in the, to the DD uh, 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 TC in New York, and it, then it's seeded to what's called seed company, C-E-D-E. -E. And they say, you seeded your land. Mm -hmm. And so it's already in abandonment, even though you've been in it. And so when they decide at any time they want to come get the property, they can use eminent domain and get it in because you've already abandoned the property, even though you're in the house. It's as if you're not even there. This is why all foreclosures in North America are referred to as abandonments. Are we clear? So keep that in mind, all right? And then they use the promissory note to, to call you to court with. So let's go on.